What's going on? It's yours truly just say it with me. They call me Miss Telefero. How's everybody doing out there? If you have not done so, make sure you're following me on Instagram at is Mr. Telefero. My Christmas giveaway is about to start up in a couple of days, and I've already got the plan laid out. And we're gonna give away Apple AirPods. It's gonna be a fantastic uh, week of giving, and I'm super happy about that. So make sure you follow me on Instagram for more details. Now, let's get into Juice World, this unfortunate story, as we did lose the 21-year-old rapper yesterday. He did die after suffering a seizure in the Chicago airport. TMZ, I feel like, has been covering this story the best, and they now have more details of just what the heck happened. We now know moments after Juice World uh, passed away, there was an immediate investigation by the FBI. And what we found out is that Juice World and his crew, they were flying on a private jet and it had about 70 pounds of marijuana on it. And um, the cops asked people around Juice World, yo, was he all right before this, this private jet took off? What was going on with him? What was his mental state right? Because we have seen a video, I believe academics posted a clip of Juice World on the private jet as him and his team were taking off and on their flight and he looked to be in good spirits. But apparently, uh, Juice World took several unknown pills as the, the, the private jet was taken off. All right, again, his team knew he took something. Juice World has admitted in the past that he did does have a Percocet problem, and in the past, he's had a lean problem. Now, there was lean on the private jet. Cannot confirm as of right now if Juice World was on that. But again, his team is claiming that Juice World popped a, a couple of pills they didn't say percocet specifically but he popped a couple of unknown pills as that pj was taken off and i'm sure the autopsy uh will be able to show us much more about what was in juice world system or maybe more importantly what was not in juice world system as this story progresses uh, also law enforcement officials had to make a couple of rests obviously you got that much dope in your vehicle or on your private jet excuse me and they also found like three weapons so a couple of people of juice world's team uh they were arrested that would be chris long and Harry dean they've both been let go imagine their night in in prison or jail you know wherever they were at uh thinking about their friend thinking about what has happened to their lives i mean look they just lost a friend you know, they just lost their job, essentially. They're, you know what I mean? The way they make money is going, I'm sure a multitude of thoughts going through their heads, all starting with, we just lost somebody close to us. He's no longer here. And we likely saw uh, what could have potentially been the thing that killed them. It's time to start having those tough conversations about the 21-year-old uh, juice world. You know... I've had a little backlash about the video I posted yesterday. We we started the conversation of if Juice World, uh, if he did have some type of drug problem, uh, if if he did die and it was related to drugs, I got a little bit of backlash. Not a lot. Not I, I actually got less than I thought I would, and I was fine with any backlash I got because I'm not coming out of this out of the wheel works, right? Um, this dude actually has admitted in his music like i'm battling with this like i was listening to one of my favorite records uh bandit is with juice world and nba young boy to come out this year it's one of the top records with with the youngest right now right it's one of the top on apple music it's a big record two of the top streaming artists on it i want to put these lyrics on the screen for you let me tell you something mental health in the black community is a real thing on the left side of your screen you have juice world literally battling through drugs and on the right side of your screen, you have young boy literally battling through one of his ops. Like again, both things that could tra cause trauma in the, in the black community that have caused trauma in the black community. And this is the music that we champion. And I and let's call us, I just told you it's one of my favorite records, but I just wanted you to see the state of hip hop. This is where we at with it right now. Look, these are literally two of, or at least Juice World was one of, and NBA young boy is the two of the top artists that we got Coming up, both around the age of 21, we have Juice World literally battling should he take drugs. He's literally talking about Percocets, talking about Link in this record, and maybe his biggest record this year. And on the other side, you got Young Boy literally battling through killing one of his ops. They literally pretty much Juice World only focuses on drugs, 
and young boy pretty much only focuses on killing one of his ops this is where we at with it make that story even more clear for you uh, i'm gonna open up to you guys i got a couple minutes here before i get on out of here i want to open up to you guys and i know i don't do this as much as i should uh, but please don't take this for granted what i'm about to say when i was growing up um i feel like one thing that played my childhood was the fact that um i needed a why like let's say i got in trouble at school or let's say one of my parents told me do, to do something at the crib i was the kid that would ask the question why like why am i getting punished why is this wrong and i feel like more times than not you know and i'm not trying to blow my parents up or nothing like that or you know more times than not the answer to my question was because i said so because i pay rent because this is my house and you know in the black community a lot of times our answer to questions are just because i said so this is how it's supposed to be let me tell y'all something that can't be the why with these kids anymore man that plagued my childhood like i had to battle through that you know what i mean because that that doesn't teach me nothing and you gotta uh, look i could come on here easily i said this yesterday and be in my i told you so bad I, I i got a partner who loves juice world i got a couple partners that love juice world i got a couple partners that love travis scott as well i could be in my bag like i told you that drug rap that that that's they they, they benefiting off us it's these black kids that that really uh cater their music to a white demographic and they're selling drug rap they're selling festival drug music I'm not in my i told you so bad because look look me in my eyes bro look listen to me we got a problem we have a real problem in the community right now these kids and it's not just kids some adults too they're screaming out for help right now i'm talking about screaming for help and the answer is not going to be because you could die off drugs that's not the why they're looking for when i used to get in trouble at home at the crib and the why was because i pay bills because this is my house because uh you live under my rules as long as you live in my house you're gonna live by my rules that's all right but that wasn't the why i was looking for i needed to know more if i touch the stove while it's hot tell me uh there, here's the scientific data of kids that their hand your hand not gonna be the same no more you're not gonna be able to go outside and shoot basketball if I don't clean the bathroom, tell me more than just, I'm gonna put you on punishment. Tell me you don't want your house to look like your auntie in them crib, do you? You don't want bugs coming in and out of I needed to know a real why. The why with these kids is not gonna be, you can die from drugs. There's a whole genre now. I call it drug rap, there's a real genre. Led by one of the biggest artists in the game right now, Travis Scott. It's it's taking you to a place. It's very melodic, very catchy. And some of this is really good music. It's drug rap, though. And Juice World fuck, fell under this category. It's I'm screaming to you that I got issues. I'm going to give my all in my music. I'm going to be the person that just gives everything I got. I'm telling you I'm struggling. I, I, I don't want the Molly's. I'll be a savage, but damn. When I'm on the mollies, I'm a savage. Like, he's literally battling it through in the course of that banding record. He's like, I don't want the mollies. They make me a savage. And I don't want them. Then he's like, but dang, when I'm on the mollies, I'm a savage. Like, he's battling it through it in the record. And so many kids right now are screaming at us. Yo, I listen to that artist because he takes me to a place that your favorite artist doesn't. That's what they're saying. They're saying, I like listening to that music. It takes me somewhere. He's young. He relates to me. We both do similar drugs. They're literally telling you, I listen to him because they're vulnerable. And they open up. 
And your favorite artist, all he rap about is the trap he ain't been in in 15 years. Y'all mad at me? I'm just keeping it a, a buck. I'm just keeping it a beam. So we got problems all up and down the mu this music place that I love. I made a career off of for the last three and a half, about to be four years. But we got problems. These kids don't feel like we 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 talking to them enough. These kids don't feel like we and not just the kids, but adults as well. People who listen to this this new genre of rap. It's a real genre. They don't feel like we talking to them enough. They feel forgotten about, misguided. They don't know the why. That that's what's going on right now, and that's very unfortunate. Um, rest in peace again to Juice World. I thought about that all night last night. I thought about that all night, night last night. And that's what I've come up with, kid. Like, if you're a young and listening to my platform, this is a better explanation for you. Like, be careful about these drugs because um, there is a why. You need people to sit down and talk to you. The why is it's taking you to a place that's temporary. That's the why. You're not permanently dealing with your problems. You temporarily handling your, your problems and you're not really finding solutions. You're finding, uh, that's what drugs do. That's like, even when you're getting them prescribed to you, you, you temporar temporarily handling your problems. Like even if I, like if you got a uh, high blood pressure and you go take high blood pressure medicine, a uh, black community, that's not what you're supposed to do. That's a temporary fix. The real solution would be more time to not get in better shape. That's the real solution. Rest in peace to Juice World. I thank you guys so much for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.